Hi, many of you may have heard about Microsoft's brilliant tool called Power BI, or Power Business Intelligence, which is a powerful application to turn your data into coherent, visually immersive and interactive insights. Whether your data is a simple Excel spreadsheet, a collection of cloud-based services, or on-premise databases, Power BI lets you easily connect, visualize what's important, and share that with anyone you want in a number of different ways, including mobile apps. What you may not know is that SignUp Software has been busy creating an out-of-the-box Power BI pack, which is now ready for release. This pack will enable you to easily, using graphical representation, active drill-down and analysis, make sense of your AP automation solution, as you will see in this short demonstration. Please keep in mind that this is the initial release and development is ongoing, so please check back in the new year for an updated video showing more content and exciting new features. Now, let's jump straight into the Xflow Power BI pack. What you're looking at here is the main Power BI desktop. At the very left, we have the AX or Dynamics 365 companies that we can select or deselect and the visual data will automatically change based on this. For example, I can deselect DEMF company and the graphics will change. Let me just select that again and deselect the USSI company. Again, the information to the right can be changed. I'm just going to leave that as all companies for the time being. In the main area called the canvas, we have a number of tiles. These can be created as required by you or created for you just for viewing and analysis. In this case, we have seven tiles. Currently, we are displaying the number of processed invoices, 29, the number of invoices to process, two, the average processing days. So at the moment, it's taking an average of 18.4 days for these invoices to be processed by the approvers. In the middle at the top, we have the invoices currently by status. So we can see invoices that have been invoiced, ones that have been approved, and ones that are active or yet to be processed. On the top right, we can see the total invoice amount in currency, and this is by 2017 and 2018 currently. On the bottom left, we have the top 10 vendors by invoice amount. And on the bottom right, we have a geographical representation, so a map showing where the majority of our invoices are coming from. In this case, we can see that the majority is in North America, with some in Europe also. As you may have noticed, just hovering the mouse over the data will give a little bit more information. Each of these tiles can be filtered, for example, by a certain date range, company, dimension, or any other data available. Each piece of data can be analyzed further by drilling down. For example, in the top right here, I might wonder what this $45,000 is, a spike in October. I can simply right click and select drill down, and this will display individual dates within that month. That could easily be in a different drill down, such as showing the 45,000 by department or vendor, for example. I can also right click and select see records. This will give me the individual transactions which make up this amount. On the right hand side, I can expand the visualization and fields criteria, which will allow me to play with the dashboard even further. For example, if I wanted to see the status pie chart by vendor, I can simply select the vendor name from the field list and drag that onto the pie graph. Now I can see per vendor the status of these invoices. Or perhaps I'd like to see this bar graph, top 10 vendors, as a pie chart. I can simply select that tile, go to the visualizations, and select the appropriate area. Now I can see this as a pie chart. I'll just turn it back to a bar graph. What you may have noticed is that I have a number of tabs at the bottom. Obviously a screen is limited to the amount you can display at one time, so you can break up your dashboard this way. In our case, we have the main dashboard that we've been looking at and others showing further information at the touch of a button, such as the more detailed invoice data. Here we can see at a glance the detail of the invoices, the invoice lines and approval lines for our selected criteria, as well as some graphical assistance. In the first column, I also have the ability to click on a particular invoice and show the invoice image, just as you would see in Xflow. And from here, we can Zoom in, zoom out, print, etc. If we look at the Approver Details tab, here again, filtering by company, at the top in the middle, we can see the average processing days in detail per approver. On the top right, we can see the approved amount by approver. So we can see that admin has the most $14,400. At the bottom in the middle, we can see the number of invoices by approver. Again, we can see that the user admin has the most at the moment, the number of six invoices. AXEDU01 has three, etc. And on the bottom right, we can see a visual representation of number of invoices by approver. This can help you perhaps follow up approvers that are not doing it in a timely fashion. On the left hand side here, I can choose to see the number of invoices by dimension. At the moment it's filtered on the dimension department, so I can see the number of invoices by department. I may, for example, want to see the number of invoices by category. I can just select category, 
and the data will change at the bottom here. Or for example, by Dynamics 365 project dimension. Again, any of this data can be viewed, filtered, sorted, and drilled down, drill up, giving you the opportunity to see the exact information that you're looking for. We also have links from one tab to another. If I just navigate back to the main tab, from here in my top 10 vendors by amount, if I want to see more information on this particular vendor, so this first one, for example, capable sales and service, I can right click and select drill through vendor details. This will automatically navigate directly to the vendor details tab where it's automatically filtered on that particular vendor capable sales and service. And I can see the pertinent information per invoice, such as the invoice number, the amount, the invoice date, due date, and so on. Another great feature of Power BI is the ability to ask questions in what's called natural language. By typing in the Q&A box at the top, we can ask such questions as, how many approvers do I have? And I've got a count of approvers, eight. Or as another example, what is the number of invoices with a status of approved? And I can see that there are 19 invoices with the status of approved. Power BI will understand these natural questions and interrogate the data for you. These dashboards can be distributed in a number of different ways, including mobile applications, available for free download on iOS and Android. To achieve this, simply press the Publish button on the top right and follow the prompts. Let's have a quick look at what this looks like on my iPad. Here we can see a screen recording of my iPad You'll notice on the bottom on the right hand side there's a yellow icon which is the icon for Power BI. Again this can be downloaded for free from the App Store or from Google Play. Let's just click on that icon and you can see that the exact same dashboard is available that we've been looking at from my laptop. On the right hand side we've got the filters available and on the canvas we can see that we have the same tiles, the same drill down, and the same tabs at the bottom where we can flip through and view all the information which is a fantastic tool for your workers, colleagues, and managers, so they can see the information that they need at the touch of the button, wherever they are. This concludes this first brief introduction to our Power BI XFlow pack. Remember, we are always continuing to develop this great tool, so please check back soon to see additional content, which will be available to you soon. Thanks for watching.